conclusion that I reach vis-à-vis -vis the individual and uh, civilization is this. Culture is not our friend. Culture is not your friend. It's not my friend. It's a very uncomfortable set of accommodations that have been hammered out over time for the convenience of institutions. A young man gets his first dose of the news that culture is not his friend when uh, told that he's going to be given an air ticket and some training and sent to an exotic country to kill its inhabitants in the name of some political ideal. You have to be fairly dense not to get the message at that point that culture is not your friend. It is using you for its purposes. You would never dream of doing what it now proposes as the only conceivably right and righteous course of action. Well, that's, you know, a black and white, a stark and enormous example of what I'm talking about. But I think every day, in thousands of ways, we betray our impulses toward wholeness, toward community, toward freedom, toward the spirit, by genuflecting uh, to cultural values that are squirrely, or toxic, or simply wrong-headed, or obsolete. Uh, culture is not your friend. It's an illusion. Uh, what kind of an illusion is it? And this sort of leads on to my, the other thing I've come to. It's a childish illusion, is the kind of illusion it is. But recently I had a physical examination with my doctor, and after it was all over, he leaned back in his chair and he said, Well, you know, most people your age in the 19th century were dead. Uh, yes, quite true. Uh, people live a great deal longer in the 20th century. And consequently, I think we, uh, part of what drives alienation is, it, it's like being, culture is like being taken in a crap game. If you play long enough, you will figure out that you're being screwed. And of course, if you die shortly into the game, it never enters your mind. We are all, uh, some of you may have seen the little saying that hangs behind bars in Minnesota, we get too soon old and too late smart. Well, some of us are getting smart earlier and earlier. And what is seen through to them is the fact that culture victimizes, ideology victimizes. These things are all con games. Reality, a culturally defined reality, is some kind of an intelligence test. And those who are joining are failing the test. 